Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is a morning update. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that you're having a fantastic morning. I hope that last night was incredibly awesome for you. I hope that you were surrounded by family, friends, loved ones, the people that truly matter. And I hope, I sincerely hope, that you took the time to be present in the moment. Because things can change fast, folks. Things can change real fast. We're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised anything. All we can do is make the best of what we have and make sure that we sit around and and we look at the people that we love and we let them know, hey, look, I love you. Because things can get bad real quick. You never know. Things can always take a turn for the worst. So uh, it's super important all the time to be present. But I think times like this, holidays, family around... You know, there's a lot of stress for a lot of people, but I think it's important to take a moment and be present. So if, if, if you folks do anything today at all and you haven't been present, you haven't, you know, taken a breath and, and enjoyed what's going on around you because of all the craziness of Christmas and, you know, the responsibility of, of purchasing gifts and et cetera, et cetera. If you haven't taken a moment to, to be present and to take a deep, deep breath and understand that everything is all good. I think you should do that this morning. You've earned that. Today, we're going to talk about one article, and it's about Prince Andrew being left out in the cold this morning at the Christmas services. Now, he was uh, able to attend one service, but not the other. So we're going to jump into that article here in a second. it's, It's a very short article. We're going to keep it quick today. I know everybody has a lot going on, you know, family wise, Christmas, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to um, ramble too too much today. So we're going to jump right into this article. And the headline is, Prince Andrew, disgraced by his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, is left out in the Christmas cold. Well, he... Look, <clears throat> Prince Andrew has nobody to blame but himself for where he is. He's the one who chose to go over to Jeffrey Epstein's house. He's the one who chose to bring Jeffrey Epstein into his orbit. He's the one who chose to take that picture with Virginia Roberts. He's the one that chose to use Virginia Roberts as Jeffrey, uh, use her for whatever purposes Jeffrey Epstein decided that she should be used for. He's He has himself to blame. Nobody else. Nobody forced him into this. Nobody said to him, hey, Prince Andrew, you have to have sex with this girl. Nobody told him to do that. So... We're supposed to feel bad now that he's being left out in the cold? Sorry, I don't care. If it, if he was my family member, he wouldn't even been invited to this silly-ass Christmas thing they have going on. I would have told him, look, dude, you got to stay home. That's it, you're grounded. I'm going to need you to stay home and do the dishes or something. I sent all the servant staff away for Christmas, but I need you to mop the floors, whatever it may be, because you certainly aren't coming to the church and, you know, messing everything up. The royal family don't want that. They they can't have it. They're on a they're, you know their footing is tenuous as well, tenuous at best, right? The Windsor family's only been in power for a hundred years. We know that royals are overthrown. We know that did royal houses emerge, royal houses fall. We know that happens. Well, and Windsor's not, you know, they're not um, they're not the 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 be all end all of royal families. They're not immune from this. This is a huge scandal, folks. This is a big deal. And it's, it's, it shows how big of a deal it is by him not being a part of the actual the walk with the queen. Right? He, had, he came in through a different entrance. It, been a whole, it was a whole thing this morning. So, again, what we see is that Prince Andrew, even though he's not faced justice yet, perhaps, but he, he is facing the court of the public and he is losing... He is being judged harshly by his peers. And I say his peers because that's what people are. That's what we are. I don't care if he's a royal. He's not above me. He's not above you. He's just some knucklehead who happened to be born with the, some good blood and a whole bunch of dough. Right? Whoa, big deal. Who cares? That doesn't mean doesn't mean you're a good guy. It doesn't mean you're honorable. Right? It just means you're a normal person and you're going to have a lot more privilege than most of us. That's it. That's all. That doesn't impress me. I don't care. So uh, forgive me if I don't feel bad for Prince Andrew, a man who had it all. A man, the whole world was his oyster and he threw it away because he had to hang out with Epstein and he had to associate with these girls. He couldn't keep it in his pants. I mean, really? 
you're the Prince of England, and you have to go to some some island with Jeffrey Epstein to get laid? Really, dude? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that you could have done accomplished your goals without being involved with a sex-trafficked woman. Really, a kid at the time. But nobody feels bad for you, dude. <clears throat> nobody feels bad for you, Prince Andrew. Okay? Nobody feels bad for you. They don't feel bad for you in Washington State. They do not feel bad for you in New York. They don't feel bad for you in Utah. They do not feel bad for you in Florida. They don't feel bad for you in Texas. They certainly don't feel bad for you in Nevada. They do not feel bad for you in California. They don't feel bad for you in France. They do not feel bad for you in Italy. They do not feel bad for you in Switzerland. And they do not feel bad for you in Peru. Okay? Nobody feels bad for you, Prince Andrew. Save it. Prince Andrew was shunned by the royal family today. The disgraced royal was stripped of most of his royal duties following a disastrous BBC interview in which he defended his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. And on Christmas Day, he was ordered not to join his family for the traditional 11 a.m. service at the small parish church on the Sandringham estate. Aww, wah, princey wincy, the handsy andy, wasn't invited to the service, had to go to a different one all on his own. Oh, what's Andrew going to do? The exclusion of Andrew was surprising as the palace had allowed a narrative to develop that he would be included. Instead, he was obliged to attend a 9 a.m. service. He was pictured walking with his brother, Prince Charles, in an unconvincing attempt to demonstrate solidarity with his brother, whose expulsion from the inner circle of the royal fold he long sought. So again, I'm certainly no expert on the royals and the machinations of what goes on in the royal house or the royal court but from what i've been reading because of prince andrew i guess charles and andrew really aren't friends they never have been really and charles is using this as the way to really get rid of this guy so i mean obviously charles has his own motivations but at the end of the day if it gets rid of andrew then that's fine with me because andrew's uh, honestly i believe i believe what virginia roberts said about him so, going off of that premise, Andrew is just a POS to me. Just a straight-up POS. Indeed, although the Queen also attended the 9 a.m. service, before then having to return to church for the 11 a.m. service, having effected an impressively quick costume change for a 93-year-old, the fact that she refused to be pictured entering church with Andrew was a graphic visual illustration of the ignominy, ignominy into which he has been cast and the dishonor he has brought upon the Windsor name. Wow, that's that's a big slap in his face. Not being able to not being able to walk with the queen, his That's a huge slap in his face, considering he was always the Queen's favorite son, according to all of these reports. The Queen was not joined by her husband Philip at either service. He was released from a hospital on Christmas Eve after a four-day stay. Harry and Meghan were also not present as they are taking a sabbatical from royal duties. They are believed to be in, in excuse me, they are believed to be in Canada. This year marked Prince George and Princess Charlotte's first time at the traditional Christmas Day service, arriving with their mother and father, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Prince Louis did not attend. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. The dishonor of Prince Andrew is complete. He has he wasn't invited with the the queen. He had to go in in a different uh, entrance. He had to go early with his brother. He had to leave early. He's he's not going to the special service. He has to go home with his pops. The party's over for Prince Andrew, folks. And if anybody thinks that we're going to stop, if anybody thinks we're going to take the pressure off, we're not. We're going to keep reporting about this man. We're going to keep the pressure on. And we're going to find out what the authorities truly do with this man. Are they going to set the example that because he's a royal, he can get away with whatever he wants? Or are they going to do their jobs and bring him to justice like any other perp? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. Because at this point, it's very clear to me that the evidence is there. The evidence is present. There's enough there at the, to, to, to make an arrest even, in my opinion. Especially, especially if they would give these people a nice Christmas gift. You know what they should get for Christmas? All of these people? A nice Rico indictment. And when that happens, 
when that happens, if that ever happens, then the party is truly over for these predators. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. If you would like to support the podcast and help us create more content and help us get out to some of these uh, locations to film on site, I mean to record on site, there's a GoFundMe link in the description box. Go ahead and click on that bad boy and do your thing. Again, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope everybody has a safe, enjoyable day. And I will be back later on with some more Jeffrey Epstein news.